So I had someone on my show recently that you know. Mm-hmm. We actually did a FaceTime after our interview. Isaiah Washington. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You guys were together on uh, which movie again? Uh, um, Exit Wounds. Exit Wounds. Yeah. With DMX. Yes. Rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Number one, and uh, Steven Seagal was on there. Yeah. So, number one, according to him, he had to keep you from beating up Steven Seagal. He was trying to convince you not to beat him up on, on a regular basis, according to the interview. I was the U.N. between kept Michael Jai White from hurting Steven Seagal. So, Steven <laughs> Gall, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Because Michael Jai wanted him. Bad. Uh, I don't think... I don't, I don't remember that part. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, hold no, on. Did, well, did, did you ever see the clip? Hold on. Let me actually. Yeah, let, I, let, I, let I me make did, sure I'm not misquoting. No, 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 I did see it. No, I, he did say something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, th- I think, I think he's probably meaning that. Uh, I think I told you. I think I told you this story where. Uh, I think I did where. I was, I was basically on set for another darn near month with only one scene to shoot. Mm. And um, it was just the the final fight scene with Steven Seagal and I. Mm -hmm. And I kept going, well, when are we going to shoot this thing? Why am I just hanging around Toronto? Like, and uh, I asked the director and he, he told me in this way, well, what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that that fight scene with you and Steven Seagal is the last thing we shoot. Because if you hurt him, we can finish this, the, the fight scene <laughs> with, with his stunt double. <laughs> and I'm like, really? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because like, if you like really fuck him up, you know, we don't need him around. And I was like, you're trying to get me to hurt Steven Seagal. <laughs> And what what kind of what kind of shit is that? Like, and then I went to the producer, asked him. I said, Andre just told me that he's trying to get the the fight scene with St- Seagal and I at the end. Is this true? Same thing. He's like, <laughs> you know what? If you really like punch him in the face or you knock his teeth out, we won't need to, we won't need him. We can finish it with the stunt double. I'm like. Holy shit. These grown ass men <laughs> are trying to set up Steven Seagal. To get beat up. Yeah. I mean, which is some bullshit because it's like everybody's susceptible. I mean, that's not a that's not a heroic thing whatsoever. I know everybody wanted to see him get hurt. Well, because he had a history of hurting yes. Uh, yes. St- stunt doubles, right? Yeah. He has a history of that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and and on set. Uh, you know, he knows, like I said before, he knows who to do that with. Hmm. But me, I I think that's that's some chicken shit stuff to hit anybody, right? Including me. I would never do that to somebody. Now, um, some of the guys, you know, some of the people take pride in being able to get hit and, you know, whatever. A lot of people don't like that. You know, he's... He, he's not a, you know, Stephen is not a pleasant person to work with. This is true. Where I heard this from the director and producer, I call my my manager and I'm like, Craig, would you believe that they're they're delaying? They want me up here to finish this, the fight scene with Stephen Zagal and they're really trying to entice me to like injure him. And I'm like, I don't hear anything on the other line. And I'm like, Craig, are you there? He's like, you know that wouldn't hurt your 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 career none. I'm like, you two? Are you serious? I'm dead. I'm I'm I kid you not, this shit happened. <laughs> and I told him, listen, I promise if he steps out of line, I have no problem, you know, doing, you know, tightening shit up. Put it that way. But I don't think he's gonna do that. Uh, we've worked together before. Um, but I hate bullies and I'm not going to be one. Steven Seagal is not a fighter. Okay. I would never do that to any person. 
I don't care if it's Steven Seagal or whatever, even if you, you feel like you deserve that. That's not me. When we did the fight scene, Steven Seagal was very nervous. This is the truth. He was very, very nervous. And I swear to you, he barely even wanted to touch me. And I basically said to him, look, I, you know, I know he smells the setup. <laughs> There's no way. I, I, I'm not doing that shit. Okay. That's not me. Even my friends, I, you know, I'm, I'm a good friends with Chuck Zito. Right. Yeah, Chuck, I met him. Yeah. Chuck Zito. Three, you, know, you met him at my house. Yeah, your house. Yeah. He beat up Van Damme. Oh, in real life? Yeah. He was okay. Van Damme's <laughs> bodyguard. They got in the squabble and he beat the shit out of Van Damme. And I, as a friend, said, like, yo, man, you shouldn't take pride in that. Van Damme's not a fighter, man. Right. Like, you should be beyond that. You know, you know, and it could have caused a problem with Chuck and I. But no, he respected that. But I just go, bro, Chuck's a warrior. I mean, Chuck, you know, th there's a documentary coming out about Chuck. Okay. People, you know, I, I, that's what I was saying. No, he, I'm supposed to interview him. Yeah, you got to interview him. Chuck. He's one of the most, yeah, one of, one of yeah. the most <laughs> interesting human beings on, on the face of the planet. But I, you know, I respect the hell out of him. I go, no, man. You're supposed to be able to beat Van Damme, right? Mm -hmm. So me taking pride in hurting Seagal, I find no gratification in that. That's bullshit. You know, that's absolute bullshit. And I wouldn't, I got, you know, like I say, I got to look at myself in the mirror. There's a lot of things throughout Hollywood where if I took this route or that route, or I could have, you know, this money for selling out my, you know, my values or whatever. I would have done that shit a long time ago. I'm not trying to get it that way. Fuck that. Mm. No. So, you know, I was, I was surprised about, you know, my own, you know, <laughs> hey, guys, what we got? My, my, my manager is like, of course. A lot of people are not fans of Seagal and want to see him hurt. But come on, man. I'm, I, I don't subscribe to that. So, yeah. But so, yeah. Um, uh, Isaiah knows that there's a part of me that wishes a motherfucker would. <laughs> so, I, you know, Isaiah knows that. You know, I'm mature enough, but I do. I mean, honestly, if I'm going to be honest, I do walk around with a certain degree of I wish a motherfucker would. That's just the truth. I don't, I, I always enjoyed fighting. That's why I do it all the time still, you know what I mean? And train with, I mean, shit, like, you know, last week, you know, like, like I'm, I'm, you know, I, I enjoy keeping my, my sword sharpened with great fighters. It's, it's a joy to me. And, you know, and I say, you know, if, if I, you know, get lumped up and have a black eye or whatever, that, that's a trophy for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't mind that at all. Uh, Cause I mean, there's a there's a thing of, you know, I I, I you know I, I okay I had physical gifts growing up in fighting, and and so I think I always wanted to test. I, I always honored people who didn't have the physical gifts I had, and would stand in there, and and overcome uh, adversity and overcome not being as gifted. And staying in it, right? So, like, there's something to be said for that. And I used to kind of question myself. Do I have that? Or I'm, uh, or I'm that guy that if it gets tough for me, would I be able to, you know, because for my character, I need to learn how to get my ass kicked. I need to make sure I can do that and, and prosper beyond it. 